There are over 2,000 individual firefly species, all within the taxonomic family of Lampyridae, which is quite easy to remember. These lightning bugs, with their mesmerizing light shows, have the magical ability to make summer nights feel romantic and enchanting. But how exactly do fireflies manage to catch lightning in a bottle? The answer lies in the bug's abdomen, specifically in an organ called the lantern. This organ consists of specialized light cells, encased in a translucent exoskeleton. The magic happens in these light cells through a phenomenon called bioluminescence, where a chemical reaction in a living organism emits light. Fireflies are not the sole possessors of this power. Glowworms and certain deep sea fish species also exhibit this capability. However, the firefly is arguably the most famous bioluminescent species on Earth. So, what's happening inside the firefly's light cells? In the 19th century, French pharmacologist Raphael de Bois, working with bioluminescent clams, discovered two essential components to these creatures' light show, luciferin and luciferase, named after the Latin term lucifer, meaning light bringer. Luciferin generates light, while luciferase is the enzyme that acts on it. Today, we understand that the firefly's bioluminescent reaction unfolds as follows. The firefly directs oxygen to its light cells through its tracheoles. Oxygen molecules react with luciferin, catalyzed by luciferase and fueled by energy in the form of ADP. The agitated and excited luciferin, upon returning to its normal state, releases energy in the form of light, creating the captivating fire in fireflies. This phenomenon is not only remarkable, but also highly efficient. Unlike a light bulb, where 90% of consumed energy is given off as heat, a firefly releases nearly 100% of its energy as light. This cold light is produced in the light cells and then focused by a layer of reflector cells, directing the beam outward through the translucent exoskeleton. But why do fireflies exhibit this behavior? Bioluminescence serves several evolutionary purposes, such as helping certain marine species lure prey or acting as a defense against predators. Sarah Lewis explains that fireflies, being beetles, have juvenile fireflies living underground. Firefly light likely evolved as a warning, like a neon sign shouting, don't eat me, I'm toxic. In adult fireflies, the purpose is more romantic. The yellow flashes during warm summer nights are part of the firefly's intricate mating rituals. Mala fireflies attract females of the same species by flashing distinctive, recognizable patterns, creating a specialized form of species-specific seduction. Despite the romance and magic they bring to summer evenings, firefly populations globally face serious threats. Light pollution disrupts their finely tuned mating rituals, making it challenging for males to find females and for females to recognize the flashes. Other threats, such as habitat loss and pesticide use, further endanger firefly populations. Some firefly species are dwindling, especially those restricted to specific habitats that, once lost, lead to their disappearance. This narrative echoes a broader story seen worldwide across the animal kingdom. Education becomes crucial in conserving fireflies and other at-risk species. Sarah Lewis emphasizes that if fireflies disappeared, much of the world's wonder would vanish. The question arises, would you want to live in a world without fireflies? Certainly not. By raising awareness about these risks, Louis aims to shed light on firefly conservation. This ensures that these captivating bugs continue to dazzle us, giving future generations the opportunity to spend their summer nights attempting to catch lightning in a bottle. Mm -hmm.